Hi, and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Gas Monitor series. What we're going to be working on today is the BW Gas Alert Micro Clip 4 Gas. What you'll need is the monitor itself, 1.5 liter per minute regulator fixed flow, calibration cup that comes with it, and the tubing. Also, one cylinder of trusted calibration gas. We obviously use nothing but Ideal Gas's brand here. In order to turn it on, hold down button on the front until it beeps, then release. It'll run through a self-check, give the alarm set points for your TWA and your STEL, as long as your low one and, and your high alarms. Okay, put that down, let it finish. The thing you want to have when you're going with the VW in order to get it calibrated, the first thing you want to do is attach your hose onto your regulator here. You want to open the regulator to make sure that you're not having a closed regulator going on a calibration gas cylinder. The last thing you want to do is have a closed regulator onto a cylinder as it can impair the quality of your gas. What you're going to want to do while this is starting up, screw this into your regulator. And you'll hear it flowing. Go ahead and turn off the cal gas and continue screwing it in tightly. Put that off to the side for now. And now to calibrate the unit, hold the button down for three seconds until it turns off and continue holding the button. So go into cal mode. Okay, now release once it begins to auto zero. You always want to be in clean air when you do this. Now let's just apply the gas. Take the so over the top, take the cal cup, hook it into the side here, and clip it on the other side. Begin to apply your gas. Make sure you open up the regulator all the way. And then the unit will auto span. Now in general, BW's gas alert micro clips come from the factory. They're looking for 25 parts per million hydrogen sulfide. 100 parts per million carbon monoxide, 50% LEL methane, and in general they'll have an 18% oxygen balance. They use the oxygen for a bump test to make sure that the oxygen sensor is responding. Alternatively, you can breathe on the oxygen sensor to make sure it drops below to your alarm points. You can see here it's locking in the numbers at 25, 100, and 50. If you'd like to set to, to use different calibration gas, you're going to have to use the configuration equipment from BW. Purchase that one separately in order you can have the hookup to go into a computer software. You can't do it using the monitor standalone. Okay, now you notice the monitor's cal comes up saying 180, 180, 180. That's how many days until your next calibration. Go ahead and turn your cal gas off. Now, I disagree with BW here. You should always calibrate your monitor every 30 days by OSHA spec. And I'd bump test it every day before you go out into the field. And you should just put your thumb over the alarm, quiet it down a little bit. And we'll let it cool off. Go ahead and unhook your cylinder of calibration gas. You never want to leave a regulator hooked into a cylinder of cal gas. It's never good to have those in there, just in case there's some impurities inside your regulator. You don't want those mixing with the cylinder of gas. Okay. As you can see, it's all back to zero now. Everything is all zeroed out. 
So we're just going to hold the button on to turn it off. And we're all set. If you have any further questions, you can give us a call here at Ideal Calibrations. Our number is 734-365-7192, and it's extension 2. Alternatively, if you want to send us an email, you can email me at james at idealcalibrations.com or talk to us through our contact form on www.idealcalibrations.com. Thank you much. You guys have a wonderful day today. Keep safe.